Tuli 
I request you to put up your hands now and continue to proclaim that Lord I lift your name on high in my life I lift your name so high in my family line I lift your name high O oh Lord in all my people who are dead and living you are the one who came from heaven and came to show us the way of life and you were crucified on the cross so that you will pay all the debts of our sin you were also buried but in your mercy you rose again that's why Lord I lift your name so high in my life and in all my people I lift your name high oh my Lord Jesus even in the impossibilities of our family we lift your name high oh Lord you call continue to lift Jesus high in your words on your behalf and on behalf of others among your people there are some who have no time for the Lord some have already stopped lifting the name of the Lord high yet others think that the Lord's things do not work some think that the Lord has abandoned them. So you don't think that there is another person in your family lifting the Lord high. You imagine you are alone in your family interceding for all of them. And tell him that Lord I lift your name high. Above all our problems. Above all the sicknesses in us. I lift you high 
fly above the enemy, the devil, who has given us a wrong image. That Lord, you have disappointed us. You have not helped us. But you are above all those things that the devil is doing and all the stubbornness he has shown in us. So I lift your name high, O oh Lord. Now you can humble yourself and put your hands to your chest. Although we stand in his presence, but we are so sinful. And everything we are going through, actually, it's worthy of us. Some of us are asking that, why don't we go through? Why is it us that the devil is disturbing so much? It is because of our sinfulness. But you do one thing. You imagine yourself coming closer to the Lord. Nobody comes closer to the Lord and then is guilty again. Mary Magdalene, they had brought her knowing that she's finished. But Jesus did not condemn her. So I want you to introduce yourself to him. All your family problems problems, all your family challenges. Some of you are having many doubts. Why do we have to bury somebody every after three months? And those people are not sick. Some die in accidents. Others, they die in riots or other things like that. Some die when they are still so young. So you can tell that to the Lord now. In these few minutes. Use it, my brother, my sister. You tell him that our problem is dead. We die abruptly. We die anyhow. Some die on the wrong side. You talk about the witchcraft. Well, you are doing your best, but even those who worship other gods are doing their best. Some of them, you are older than them, others, they are younger than you. You don't have any chance to talk to them. They are worshipping gods they don't know about. Tell him that problem. You tell him that, Lord, it is poverty for us. We are even becoming barren. Some of us cannot even marry because of poverty. Yet it is our vocation. So we are in sin because of that. We have children from many women. You continue to mention your family challenges among your brothers, among your sisters. For us, we are insisting on our family line. We don't know about the family line. Disagreements. Shedding blood whenever you come together. Maybe the fathers are not in agreement. You tell the Lord everything. Continue to talk to him. This is not a quiet prayer time. This is the here you can talk to the Lord. It is two way. The power of your word. If you tell the, uh, the Lord about the devil, Amanya you, he knows then that you are tired of him. Amanya the devil knows that then you are tired of him. Now you can put up your hands. Kama anti mukama Yesu. My Lord Jesus, what I have told you and what I haven't told you, they are becoming so much problematic to us. 
I have done all that I think I can do. And my people have done the same. But the situations are not going away. So we pray that you set us free. Continue to tell the Lord like that. I have fasted so many times. Lord. I have prayed every prayer around me. And uh, even those I have never heard about. Even my own personal prayer. But the situation is becoming worse. Lord, set us free. And heal us, O Lord. Take away the spirit of death from us. And take away the spirit of accidents. It has even killed those who are going for religious life. Even those who have chosen to go for holy matrimony, they die. Lord, set us free from the spirit of paganism as if you are no longer with us so Lord. Lord. so Lord set us free you pray so much before the Lord and tell him I'm tired of God even my people are tired some of them don't want to pray anymore if you tell them to pray they get angry with you but even the, their other ways have not brought any results. So set us free, O oh God. And heal us, O oh Lord. You can mention what you want to be set free from. What you want your family to be set free from. If it is poverty, you tell the Lord. If it is failure, they take you from here to there. At the embassy. But if you go with others, they give them the visas. You are taken here there. Yet you have your visa with you. And when you come to the airport, they ask for things you don't have. And then you go to other nations. And then they bring you back here. You tell the Lord that take away failure from me from my people who are living and the dead you talk to the Lord you are before him you are before the Lord so talk to him and feel that his power is setting you free the faith you have is the power of God in you the faith you have is the authority of God in you if you believe that what you say that set me free, he will, then he will. If you are sure that what you have mentioned, he will do it and he's doing it. He is the same God who heals the diseases you have mentioned. He is the God who takes away the poverty you are talking about now. He is the God who lifts high those who are stagnant to the ground. And he makes the lame walk every type of lameness the Lord is setting you free now the Lord is setting people free now and is setting you free now believe that he is setting you free as he wants not as we want let's tell him to continue to set us free as he will not as we will
Echigambo cha katonda Chivude mchitabu cha mika omulanzi Mutogo musambu Olunye ule kumine nye kutuka kule kumine tano Ule kumine omunana kutuka kule ama kumiabili Lunda avantubo Ngokuto mugo ogomu lunzi Egana liobu skabo Avali ya wobo kaa Mubisaka Ne musuku wakati Balundi le ebasani Ne galadi ngeda Ngabo wakola Do wavamu nsie misiri Tulage evi echitalo Lubale ani alinga gwe Ajawe chibi Naso nyuo musango Atale meramu usungu we na kuzona Esanyu Esanyu lie Neriva mkusasira Damu okutusa asira Misangwa jafe Jisambi lile nevi gere Ebibibi afe Bisu kize kuntowo ye nyanja Yakobo muwo wesigebo Ipla imu echisacho Ngabu wa elairiraba jajafe Okuvadina di Abo Uganda Ebi omu kama ya abi ogera Katunda ebele We are reading from Micah chapter 7 Verses 14 to 15 and 18 to 20. Be a shepherd to your people, O Lord, the people you have chosen. Although they live apart in the wilderness, there is fertile land around them. Let them go and feed in the rich pastures of Bashan and Gilead, as they did long ago. Work miracles for us, O Lord, as you did in the days when you brought us out of Egypt. There is no other God like you, O Lord. You forgive the sins of your people who have survived. You do not stay angry forever but you take pleasure in showing us your constant love. You will be merciful to us once again. You will trample our sins underfoot and send them to the bottom of the sea. You will show your faithfulness and constant love to your people, the descendants of Abraham and Jacob, as you promised our ancestors long ago. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is good. All, all the time. time. Uh, I welcome all of you to this wonderful word of God today. On this great mountain, Mount Zion. I know we've come all of us are standing in on behalf of our family trees. And 
And we know that different families have different problems. Era, tuchimanyenti. Enyiri lieze nja ulo, zinebi zibubi anja ulo. I want to honor my brother, Joseph, for helping us to touch some of those areas. Njaga lo kwebaza, muganda wange, Joseph. Uroku tu yambako, okwezu, ulamubi muku bizibwebio. But I know all of you have been trying to dig in on yourselves to find out what is happening in our family trees. Because some things in our family trees don't seem to change. What happened to our great grandfathers is happening to us today. The challenges they found is the challenges we are going through. Some of our aunties did give birth, and some of us are finding difficulty having children. Some of us know that uh, our grandfathers they were very rich, but all their wealth has gone to the west. And also us, we started working and we're seeing the fruit of our labor. But slowly by slowly, everything we worked for is simply going down the drain. Some of us have seen sicknesses that our grandfathers suffered and they are the same sicknesses that seem to be torturing us. And some of us would never have gone to, to which doctors, but some of us have gone there simply because we've tried to look for a solution and things are not seemingly working. And unfortunately, going there has made it worse. And so we're wondering where can we run to? That's why the word of God today from Micah brings us a lot of hope. Because the It begins by saying, Lord, take charge of your people. Look after the flock. Tend your flock. Not once again be in charge. We have wasted our lives by thinking that we can be in charge. We thought we were beautiful. We thought we were clever. We thought we could be in charge. We are like the prodigal son who left home. Thinking that he could be in charge of himself. Thinking if he got money, he would, have, he would be on top of the world. We've been reduced to ashes. We've been brought to law. To be like, to, 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 to be like him looking after pigs. We've been reduced to that, Lord. We need somebody else to be in charge of our lives. Our own have, we have not done it. Our grandfathers failed. Our parents have found it difficult. They left it to us and we are failing. But we are thinking now the solution is to give you back the driving seat. Lord, come back. And take charge. No Rachel, come on. Come back and take the driving seat. All our tricks are not working. Our skills are not working. Come back, Lord, and take charge. Come And that's what the word of God today says in Micah. Come back and take charge. Come back and tend your flock. 
Come and do again the miracles you did in Egypt. The Israelites never had a clue they could leave Egypt. Because the challenges in Egypt were many. The battles in Egypt were many. Nobody believed they could get out of the hands of Pharaoh. And we also know this week. You gave us a strong word on Sunday. You told us that it is the one who hates you who sowed bad seed. Zizania. That you for you, you are the one who sowed good seed in us. It is your enemy who, who, who planted bad seed. And you said that ultimately the bad seed has to be removed. I was with my friend yesterday and was narrating about sharing on that very word of, of the parable of the weeds. And when this person was sharing, I was open to a new insight. He said, do you know that the day will come when the weeds will be removed and the master is not going to remove the seeds, the good seed first. He says he will first of all remove the weed and the destiny will be fire that means you'll have an opportunity to see if you are the good seed you will be able to, to witness to see the the Zizania being removed. Being given its destiny. And God putting you in your rightful place. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. Now some people don't know that that time will come. They are looking for God. But they are seemingly looking at evil prevailing everywhere. And they think that their efforts are in vain. Their self-giving is in vain. God says he's beginning with the weed. He's beginning with the weed. He's taking it out. That means you'll have an opportunity to be there to see the wind being taken away. And you be given your rightful place by God. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. So what should we do for our family trees? Because we have also seen certain things are wanting in our family trees. It seems they were planted there. But the truth is the challenges we have in our family trees some have bearing of what was done by our ancestors by those who came before us and what did they do? they committed sin 
And when sin moves from one generation to another, it becomes a spell. So you begin to suffer things. You see them in your families. And you begin to hate other people who are around you. If it is sister so and so who does not like me. It is father so and so who is hating me. But is he also the one who is hating your auntie? Is he the one who is also hated, who, who hated your grandmother? You know we have people around us and we are at war. For me people don't like me. For me people hate me. Even when you move from one place to another place, they, they still hate you. And instead of saying, what should I do about it? Everybody is your enemy. They dislike me. They hate me. You know I don't have an, an, a chance. And unfortunately we don't know that. What those our ancestors did have a bearing on our lives today. That's why sometimes when you just keep quiet. My family is on the rocks. My family, my family is on the rocks. And I'm wondering why. But if you are quiet, you also find out that all, it is not beginning with you. Even your uncle's family, even your grandfather's family. But at this moment, you are thinking your wife is a big problem. You are thinking your husband is the one who is not understanding. Not knowing that a seed was sown that brings you to become difficult for anyone to manage you. But what is So now you think your partner is the problem. But now this is an opportunity for us to say, ah, let us not stop taking charge of everything. Let us give it to the one who can take charge. Here this. Lubalani Alinga Gwe Ajawe Chibi Nasanyom Sango. Atale mera mubusungu we na kuzona. Hesanyulie gweriba mkusasira. God is good. All the time. Who are you? Who? Among other God is like you. Who forgives the sin. Takes away the bondage that comes with it. Who? Who is, is that God who never keeps anger forever? Whose joy is in releasing mercy? God is good. All the time. We have a God who is merciful. We have a God who is kind. I know your uncles did that. I know your aunties did that. I know your grandfathers did that. Agamanti maniba kujabo ba kuyecho, maninga ba senga ba chobo ba chikola, maniba jaja ba chobo ba chikola. But our God is a merciful God. Na ye katonda wa fe ye Musa sisi nyo. Our God is a merciful God. Katonda wa fe Musa sisi nyo. I want you to say it also. Na we chakule. Say my God is a merciful God. Gamba mbiga mbiyoti katonda wange Musa sisi. My God is a merciful God. Katonda wange katonda Musa sisi. My God is a God of mercy. Eda ye katonda sisi da. He can take charge. Eda sobolo kufanya. He can free me from bondage. Nanzi jamu busi. He can free me. Me out. God is good. 
all the time. He's a merciful God. Katonda Musasizi. He's a merciful God. Katonda Musasizi. He can take away the bondage that comes with our sin. O kujawo o buvune bono wava mbibi biyafe. God is good all the time. He's a merciful God. Katonda wafe Musasizi. The more we do something, the more we are facing the inevitable. The more we are facing the inevitable. Lord, take away our sin. Wipe away our sinfulness. Send it to the bottom of the sea. And that is what everybody today who is hearing this word must cry to God and say, Lord, take away our sin. Eyo, ebere sala ya fe. Fenaba ulie bigambo bino. Ogamenti mukama, jawe chibicha fe. Osangulewo emisango jafe. So stand on behalf of your family and plead to God. Lord, I plead with you. Wipe all our sinfulness. No, Rachel. Ogenda kuimila ukuruwa nekuruwa wa musayi. Take all our sin that has kept us in bondage. Omugamenti jawe chibicha fe. Take it to the bottom of the sea. Bring back the blessing of Jacob. Bring back the blessing of Jacob. Let us be fruitful again. Let us be prosperous again. Bring back the promises you promised our ancestors. For the moment, we plead for you. Wipe away our sin. So I'm asking you to stand wherever you are. And and cleanse me, Lord. Wipe away our sin. 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 Wipe away that I may be clean. And as you plead, plead for your family. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. In your precious blood. When you're doing so, don't just sing. Plead with him. Bathe me in your precious blood. Wash me. That's why you cannot even fold your hands. Beg him. Beg him. Bathe me. I'm standing on behalf of my family. Bathe me in your Today bathe me. I know now that I can be clean. I know I can be whole again. I know that something now in my family tree can change. Because you are the God of mercy. That's why I'm asking you in your mercy, bathe me. Bathe me in what the devil did to our family. Bathe me in the consequences of prison. Bathe me on the consequences of being curtailed. Bathe me. Bathe my family. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? When I say bathe me. I'm the one pleading fools to God. So actually, oh, you need to open your mouth and tell him. Bathe me.